gambling problem. Who would have thought it? Yeah, well, there were signs. Remember how I kept disappearing on Father's Day at the club? I didn't think it then, but now it makes sense. <sighs> well, what's Mom gonna do now? I don't know. She says that she's gonna stay with David and that she still loves him. Oh, so this guy uh, has used her and has lied to her. Yeah, that sounds a lot like love to me. Ah, I don't know. It's not for us to decide. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit back and watch him abuse her more? We have to let her make that decision. If we don't support her now, when things go really wrong, oh, she's not going to come to us. She needs us now. She needs us now. I'm not going to let this jerk her more than he already has. Well, what are we supposed to do? Tell her that she can't see him? Oh, we Get have, him kicked out of Jabot? We have to try. Right? we got to try. I'll tell you, the first thing she needs to do is guard her money. Because if this thing goes south, and I'm betting it does, he's not going to drain Mom dry. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi. What are you here for dinner? No, I, I'm just... I'm actually meeting JT in a little while, so... Why don't you let your son buy you dinner? No, thanks. Where's Phyllis? She's still at the office. We, uh, told her about David. I wish you hadn't have. And please, just don't start with me on that. Mom, he's not coming down on you. Look, ultimately, it is... Your choice if you want to stay with this guy. Apparently but... it's not. What do you mean? He's leaving me. He's upstairs packing. Oh, Mom. I'm sorry. Well, your brother isn't. Look, I'm sorry that you're hurt. All right? Why don't you come stay with us? No. No, I'm okay. you want so your mother told you why don't you just leave i am victoria the bellman is changing my room right now no it's a change of plans there's no new room for you Nicholas, you're gonna get your bags and you're gonna get the hell out of here so david dumped her well it's just better off without him I'm starting to sound like nick look i just Never really trusted that guy, you know? I don't really trust him either, but you never know. Maybe maybe he'll get over this problem. It's more than just a problem. What are you talking about? Look, Paul did some checking on David. Mom hired him? No, on his own. What did he find out? Before I, I answer that question, you should also know that I, I helped him. What? Yeah, it was before, you know, before you said that you were okay with Chow, and, and when you did that, I backed off. <laughs> and you didn't feel the need to tell me? What did you find out? Well, I found out that he has a gambling problem. Mom already knew that. He's been married three times. Oh. Listen, two of the wives died under suspicious circumstances. You're just telling me this now? Look, Paul talked to your mom, all right? And she told him to back off. She said that there was no proof that he killed anybody. How did you help in this? I helped Paul get some employment records for Chow. <sighs> you could have told me. Victoria, no, come on. No, I'm your wife. And this is my mother that we're talking about. Car accident and a suicide. Those were the official causes of death. But you and Paul think that maybe, David... yeah, maybe. But uh, we never found a smoking gun. And the third wife, Paul talked to her. Yeah, apparently she had a lot of bad things to say, but she was also certifiable. Well, crazy people can tell the truth too. There's no way of knowing. All right, let me get this straight. You weren't sure that my mother wasn't living with a murderer, and you weren't sure that she wasn't in danger, but you were sure that you didn't need to tell me. Oh, come on, Victoria. You, you had a lot going on. 
There's plenty of other things happening in your life, and we didn't even have any proof. Oh, that's no excuse for not telling me. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I'm not sorry about this. Well, you should be. You know what? You didn't have to sit at the bedside of someone you love more than anything in this world, day after day, and wonder if she was ever going to wake up again. So look, if I'm a little overprotective of you, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just too bad. I just, um, I just need some time to think. I'm not, I'm not going to be like this. Please, I just, I need to be alone. Hey, JT. Uh, I never got a chance to tell you thank you for coming to my wedding. It was a Victoria's call. I saw you standing there, and I thought yeah, it would be a good idea. Whatever it is that you want to talk about right now, no matter what, it's just not a good time, okay? I thought it would be a very good idea to talk about the gala. I'm sure it can take your mind off whatever it is that's worrying you. You know what? I'm sorry. Why don't you have a seat? I tried to do the right thing. You know, Victoria should respect that. What made you decide to tell her now? Because Nikki found out that David was playing the tables in Vegas. So he went anyway? Yeah, he went. What did Nikki do? She wants to stay with him. Oh. But that's not going to happen. Because David dumped her. All right, we could do a Roaring Twenties theme. Maybe Monte Carlo. <clears throat> yeah, I know. We could have a shiny Baccarat tables with people playing. No, definitely not that. All right. All right, since the money is going to school arts programs, we can do... We can do a Renaissance theme. Michelangelo's Florence. Florence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the women? The women could be wearing those Renaissance gowns, you know, the ones with the corsets and the embellishments. Oh, yeah, they'd like that. That'd be nice. I'd like that, too. And you know what? We could, um, we could turn the bar into our favorite cafe. Yes. yes. And we can serve orange, orange cocoa. cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Do you like that idea? I can't believe how big he's gotten. I know. I put him to bed at night and he wakes up the next morning. He's like he's a different baby. <laughs> Having a baby changes everything, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. In ways you can't even imagine until it happens to you. Vicky, Vicky, there's something I've been dying to tell you. I was thinking that we should probably write some of this down before we forget. And, um, here's some more. Uh... Any ideas that you might have, I'd like you to run them past me. I'm not trying to be mean, but you're new to this, so um, I don't want you making any rookie mistakes. Thanks for the tea, Jana, by the way. Hey, JT. Hey. I'm glad you came back. Why's that? Uh, I was with Victoria right now, and she just seems upset. What'd she say to you? Nothing, actually. Well, then how do you know she's upset? Well, you know about that? <laughs> yes, I know about that. You know, when we lived in Italy, I used to tease her about it until she laughed. But right now, she's not laughing. Thanks for the tip. Sure. Good night. Good night. We made a promise not to keep secrets. I know we did, but this one's a little bit a different. A promise is a promise. 
Look, this was for your mother's own good. What are you talking about? I backed off, but Paul never did. Or he kept investigating, kept investigating David behind your mother's back. Did you couldn't tell me that? Look, I just, if you would have said anything, if you would have slipped up and I said one word. you think that I have a big word, mouth No, I just think this is very emotional for you. This is your mother we're talking about. That's not for you to decide. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I should have said something. It's okay. As long as you mean it. I mean it. You know I don't like it when people tell me what to do or try to make decisions for me. Oh, I know. Good. But I don't want you to stop. Stop what? I don't want you to stop investigating David. I want you to follow him. I want to know everything that he does. I want to know everyone that he talks to. I want you to keep my mom safe. Well, that's a promise I can keep. <laughs>